Nearly a decade ago, a man's fantasy became reality in a form never seen before, Kitchen Stadium, a giant cooking arena. The motivation for spending his fortune to create Kitchen Stadium was to encounter new original cuisines, which could be called true artistic creations. Out of cheesy! To realize his dream, he started choosing the top chefs of various styles of cooking. And he named his men the Iron Chefs, the invincible men of culinary skills. Iron Chef Japanese is Roksaburo Michiba. Iron Chef French is Hiroyuki Sakai. Iron Chef Chinese is Chen Kenichi. And Masahiko Kobe is Iron Chef Italian. Kitchen Stadium is the arena where Iron Chefs await the challenges of master chefs from all over the world. Both the Iron Chef and Challenger have one hour to tackle the theme ingredient of the day, using all their senses, skills, creativity, there to prepare artistic dishes never tasted before. And if ever a Challenger wins over the Iron Chef, he or she will gain the people's ovation and fame forever. Every battle, reputations are on the line in Kitchen Stadium, where master chefs pit their artistic creations against each other. What inspiration will today's challenger bring? And how will the Iron Chef fight back? The heat will be on! If memory serves me right, sumo wrestlers are not known to be discerning about what they eat. To them, eating is part of their training, and as far as I know, sumo wrestlers are the only professional fighters who prepare meals called chanko by themselves. As I was becoming more intrigued with the sumo diet, I found a relatively decent chef who was once a sumo wrestler himself. His ring name back then was Fuyoho, and one would think that the menu would be exclusively for sumo wrestlers, but I was pleasantly surprised. His dishes more than qualify as quality Japanese cuisine. So now, let me introduce today's challenger, a chef who was once in the sumo ring, head chef of Odo Nishiki in Osaka, Kiyotaka Ikegawa. Ikegawa's father was also a sumo wrestler named Odo Nishiki. Following in his father's footsteps, Ikegawa was accepted into a sumo training stable at the age of 16 and was given the job of an orderly of Grand Yokozuna Kitanoumi. I assume that the energy of the former Grand Champion came from the food Ikegawa was preparing. His sumo career came to an end with, without him becoming a top ranker. But when he was active, he was aggressive, an aggressive fighter, which I can see in his personality. I can see that now as, 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 I, as I look back. At age 19, he was promoted to middle rank, but later a serious knee injury prevented him from further promotion, retiring at age 25 with his last ring name, Fuyoho. At my stable, we had Yokozuna Kitanomi. My dream was to at least make it to the level of a sword carrier, to assist the champion in his ceremony appearance, to return the kindness he extended me when I was first started. After some years of formal training, he once again followed the footsteps of his father and headed the kitchen of his father's restaurant. His dishes went far beyond the ring of sumo wrestlers' food. With his passion for perfection, he succeeded in developing his own style. The battle-hardened ex-sumo wrestler, here to fight in a completely different ring. So now, Ikegawa, fight with the double-edged sword of fierceness of sumo and sensitivity of a seasoned chef. Iron chefs in cooking are like the Yokozunas in our world, and I'd like to see him beat a Yokozuna. An underdog like me will have to use all kinds of tricks to make the champ sweat to pick up a win, uh, hopefully.
Today's challengers had a career wrestling in the nation's sumo arenas, a wrestler turned chef, and so one of our guests today is former Ozeki Asashio, now stable master with his new name, Wakamatsu. Welcome, sir. Great to be here. It's all about food, so you should feel right at home today. <laughs> okay. Also joining us is actress, pint size by comparison, actress Mayuko Takata. <laughs> it's my pleasure to be here. And our commentator, Dr. Yukio Hattori. Always a pleasure. Okay, let's bring on Chairman Kaga. all right, and now entering the arena for a different kind of competition, the former sumo wrestler who's become quite a chef. He's here lining up today to put a charge into Kitchen Stadium. Oh, hello, nice to meet you. Now ascending into Kitchen Stadium, the grand champions of the nation's culinary scene, your Iron Chefs. Iron Chef Chinese, Chan Kenichi, Iron Chef French, Hiroyuki Sakai, and Iron Chef Japanese, Roksaburo Michiba. Here they stand, the invincible men of culinary skills. Master Chen, please accept my challenge. All right, going for Chen. Ikegawa opting to face off against the Iron Chef Chinese Chen Kenichi. The Sejuan Sage, son of the god of Sejuan cooking Chen Kenmin. With his talent, skills, and passion, he stands atop Chinese cuisine in Japan. But today, the former sumo wrestler is trying to drop him to the ground. <laughs> けがに泣いた。けがに。そう思った時、私はあれしかないと思いました。それでは発表します。今日のテーマはこれです。今日のテーマ。けがに。All right, today's cooking bout featuring a former sumo wrestler turned chef and challenger Ikegawa knocking heads with Iron Chef Chen. We are set. Let's get it on. Bang a gong, we are on. The initial thrust, if you will. These two going at it and up the steps to the stand and grabbing a hold of the horsehair crab up there, today's theme ingredient. And watch out, don't get hurt with those things. And Wakamatsu-san, yes. I understand that you, like many other sumo wrestlers, are known for being a, something of a gourmet, correct? Uh, no, no, no. No, but no. you guys, you do know a lot about food, so uh, what are you looking for with this ingredient? Mm, for Junko, sumo wrestler's food, these crabs are not used that often. So, They're not? Uh, no, it's, it's just too expensive for everyday food. Okay. Well, when I hear the term chanko style food, I only think about the stew, well, you know? That's the normal perception, yes. So I wonder, what else do you normally eat? Well, I asked you before the battle the word chanko, and you said it just means food for wrestlers. Yeah, yeah. Um, any food for sumo wrestlers is called chanko. Okay. Oh. Yeah, but the uh, normal, the well known is the stew style. So, so anything can be a chanko food. Yes, that's right. But speaking of this challenger, I'm not sure if he can make great food other than the stew. You know. So. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the stew battle. I'm sure he's going to be more uh, have more tricks up his sleeve than Chen Zan. Okay, and I imagine he'll be making at least one stew dish in this battle today. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. As for Iron Chef Chen, chopping that one up, and how about it? Uh, hot, maybe a hot and spicy stir-fried horse hair crab dish. <laughs> mm. Well, it, it's not uh, out of the realm of possibility. Give it the old Szechuan touch. Sure, sure. I think <laughs> okay. he'll also definitely have something using the shell. Okay, and here Fukuzan. he is boiling these. The challenger, yes. Iron Chef Chen says he's going to have to be extra careful not to hurt his fingers today, not because of the claws, but because of the spiny hairs. He also says we don't use this kind of crab in Chinese cuisine. But I'm familiar with other types, so I should manage fine. All right, Chen's won his last nine, says he can manage. Of course, there are numerous crab dishes in Chinese cuisine. Right, that's very common, but just not this particular crab. Okay, and look at this. Challenger Ikegawa with the handle there and forcing out the claw meat. Yeah, bringing it out raw. Takata-san, what do you think? He'll boil these? 
I don't know. Okay, well, he's got some rice there. Oh, yeah. maybe crab rice. Yeah. Oh, okay. that'd be good. All right, that would be nice. That's possible. Yeah. I'd like to see that, too, yeah. And uh, Wakamatsu-san, just wondering, uh, are you going to be okay with the uh, regular-sized servings we'll have here today? <laughs> no, no problem. <laughs> it's okay? Yeah? That's fine, yeah. All right. Well, you know, he's a former sumo wrestler, but this man is so slender. Well, yes, he was one of the smaller-sized, more muscular-type wrestlers, right? Yes, um, quite small in our business. Yeah, the, the, uh, there are some not overly bulked-up wrestlers who do well, rely more on speed and quickness, and he was definitely one of those. But, but even so, I mean, he looks like a regular Well, guy. these days, he weighs about uh, a little more than 170 pounds. Oh, really? Mm. Yeah, when he was wrestling, he was up around 240 pounds. Oh, okay. 172, that's like my fighting weight. You've dropped some? <laughs> <laughs> And the word sopo uh, for the one they use for slender sumo wrestlers, that comes from the term for chicken bone, right? Okay, lean and mean, and now the Iron Chef's side boiling these. I think he's making a, a soup or a broth. Okay, perhaps. getting a broth together, all right. Fukuzan! Yes? I asked Iron Chef Chen if he was considering crabs in chili sauce, and his answer was, hey, I just made chili prawns last time, so no, no chili crab, no crab fried rice, everything else is a secret now, so go away. <laughs> okay, so he's not gonna do that, all right. Now, swinging back to the challenger side and scooping out these here. Yeah, he's got uh, yuzu, it's a Japanese citrus fruit. Okay, oh, nice, perhaps to nice. use them as bowls, maybe put a crab salad or something else in them? Yeah, I, I guess so. And, and you know, with the, with the fruit being hollowed out like this, they're probably going to be squeezed to get the juice for a sauce or something use like that. Use that too? Yeah, so probably for his stew pot. I imagine. Mm. Okay. Oh. All right. Fukuzan. Yes. Challenger Ikigawa told me what he thinks about this ingredient. He let out a big sigh and said, well, to be honest, it's not one of my strengths, so I don't like it that much. He sounded like he was in kind of a quandary as to what to do with it. Wow. Mm. Doesn't seem to bode too well for the challenger. Not enamored of the theme. And now 15 minutes gone and back with Chen. Broth it is. Okay, good. Iron Chef preparing a crab broth made Fukuzan. by boiling the shells. Yes. When I asked Chen son if he feels pressure going for his 10th consecutive win, he denied it, saying no, not at all. But what I do feel is that this crab is pretty tough to deal with. Sounds like he's in a quandary as well. All right. Moments apart. Both chefs letting us know that uh, tackling this theme ingredient. No walk in the park today. And now hmm. here's the challenger. Uh, what's, huh. was that what crab? was that? Crab meatballs? Okay. Yeah, 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 Dropping yeah. them in there right there. Yeah, mixing it with the raw meat he squeezed out before. Okay, and uh, he's Anybody made see? some sort of paste with that. Did he mix any eggs in that or anything? Fukuzan? Yes. I've got the scoop on these dumplings. This is a mix out of the blender, a combination of crab meat, soy sauce, egg yolks, and ukiko flour. Back to you. Oh, okay. okay, with the fine grain flour in there. Oh. Right, so he's definitely going to be preparing some dumplings for the wrestler style stew. Uh, I, I think you're right. Yeah, 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 I think so too. All right, so one stew dish then. Right, so boiling them lightly now, he'll pull them out and then add them into the stew later on. Okay. So this is just kind of a prep thing right now. Now Iron Chef Chen stripping the meat here. Yes. We just overheard Chen San mumbling to himself, complaining that it's really tedious and difficult to remove the meat. Hmm. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm. Yeah, especially when it's raw. Time being expended. <laughs> tough task. Yeah. Huh? All right. But it tastes so good. It's so sweet. Okay, a tough mm. theme, but he likes the flavor. Okay. <laughs> wow. With any crab, taking the meat out is so tedious. Oh, yeah, it yes. is, isn't it? It's a dirty job, but... <laughs> yeah, I love crab, but I don't like it to order them frequently because of that. Okay. <laughs> I used to have my assistants do that, yeah. actually. <laughs> Challenger Ikigawa commenting on Master Wakamatsu being on the tasting panel told me that when he started out, he was an orderly for Yokozuna or Grand Champion Kitanomi, who lost a number of critical <laughs> bouts to Wakamatsu-san. And so he says, today I hope to top a Yokozuna myself, even okay. though he's struggling right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, it, uh, Kitanomi did not like lining up against you, right? Oh, that's not true. I was just lucky a few times. No, 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 no. You took care of him on many occasions, and sumo followers know that Kitanomi had a tough time wrestling against you. Well, I could say that just uh, from the record. That's maybe. right. The record proves it. And by the way, the challenger's first ring name was Gino Hana. After he moved up, it was changed to Fuyoho. Okay. And uh, he has a winning record against some of the guys, some of the top ranked wrestlers in the upper division. Okay, getting back to the cooking here, I think you just added some soy sauce and salt, I believe. Okay, and the challenger with the taste test of that. First time for us again to have a former sumo wrestler competing. Oh, here, here. we go. Adding the crab in All there. All right. Uh -huh. Oh, oh no, that's the meat there. Shells with shells. Okay. Oh, with oh, the with shells. shells. Okay. And completely oh, raw going in. Right, yeah. Okay. Into the rice cooker yeah. there. Yeah. And big pieces in there. Right. Yeah, it's going to look like a Japanese paella, maybe. <laughs> that could be possible. <laughs> All right. Now over here, Chen taking that mix, and uh, crab meat was also in there, I believe. Fukuzan? Yes. Uh, this mix 
mix in the Iron Chef's blender, I'm told, is crab meat, crab liver, and crab soup puree. Going with the crab liver, too. Oh, that sounds okay. good. Okay, yeah. and so far, neither chef appears to be using crab liver as a standalone ingredient. They are combining it with other items. And for Yes. The information I just received from one of Chen San's assistants says that the crab liver is probably for the crab mousse, or chawa mushi, which uh, may be what we're seeing here. All right. Ah, okay. Wow. This one, a chawan mushi egg mousse in a crab broth with mm. crab meat. Whoa, that is something <laughs> spectacular oh, that coming. That does sound good, doesn't it? All right. Mm -hmm. Now, filling up the yuzu bowls there. With uh, daikon radish, uh, grated, and crab. Okay, and this boiled crab, right? Uh, I think so. Mm. Yes. Okay. One more quick note. These citrus cups contain grated daikon radish, citrus vinegar, and soy sauce. All right. Okay. Okay. Could be or should be the starter, presumably. Mm -hmm. And now, let's see here. We've got the Iron Chef and... No. Can you make that out? Uh, is that the crab liver? That crab said? liver in there? I, I think it is. Right yeah. over there then, huh? Yeah, I believe so. Okay, yes, yeah. a load of crab liver in that one and mixing the stuff in the other bowl right there. Perhaps this will be his appetizer? Okay, Chen, so far unable to see anything that we would uh, normally associate with having a Chinese flavor. Right, yeah. Okay, now back with the challenger and he's unloading this. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, could be crab liver already prepared, right? Uh, yeah, it's definitely crab liver. Okay, ready made from a small container from our kitchen stadium stocks. Mm hmm. Um, well, you know, by mixing the meat and the liver together, I guess the flavor gets bigger, expands. Right, right, right. Yeah. Now, Chan, look what he's oh, adding here. Oh, uh, Yes. He's starting out this walk with keikajan and honey. All right, keikajan, oh. Doc, that is... Um, okay, it's... Sweet. Um, yeah, it's it's like a jam almost, but kind of a sweet and sour type of taste. Okay. Yeah. So sweet. Mmm, and getting an exotic aroma wafting over this way, courtesy of the Iron Chef. And 30 minutes gone, 30 to go. And he's and he's got yuba on the crab liver Okay, here. challenger side here, yuba. Soybean curd sheets going on top of that one, which hasn't been cooked yet. No, I think that's probably going to be for steaming. Okay, move this on to the steamer. I imagine so, yeah. All right, you know, mm -hmm. it looks almost like something for a Buddhist monk, that one <laughs> Actually, there. it does, doesn't it? Okay, and now the challenger, Ikegawa, slicing away. Okay, the challenger's steaming it. Okay, yeah. steaming okay. action. Mm -hmm. Both Chen and the challenger hitting the steamers about the same time, and now here's Chen. No, I wasn't watching this from the beginning. I know he just added cornstarch, but... Uh, it looks like Pounded rice. Yeah, it looks very sticky. Yeah. Yes. Uh, the white mixer on the Iron Chef side is ukiko flour and water. All right. Thanks, oh, Sota. Okay. okay. So ukiko is a rice flour, very fine grain. So this is definitely right. for a, a dumpling of sorts. So he'll probably stuff the crab liver in this, and then either steam it or I guess another option would be to uh, to boil it. As All well. right. Yeah. The Iron Chef with that one, kind of like mm. a dim sum piece there. Uh, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Right. That's what I think he's going to do. Okay. Oh, chow and mushy now. Uh, in the shell. Oh, Egg okay. mousse broth and loading it in right oh, there. that's a nice touch, isn't it? Yeah, it, it is. Hmm. But wonder if these will leak. Oh, no, you don't have to worry about that. <laughs> no problem? <laughs> no, no, no. It's I don't fine. know. One little hole in there, <laughs> that thing will all be gone. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Okay, now the Iron Chef here and uh, had like one of them rolled up and now really flattening it there with the blade of the cleaver. Yeah, doing that to stretch it out. You know, it almost uh, looks like a gyoza skin now. Now, this was the ukiko flower, right. right? Yeah, okay. Then So it's going to be like a transparent gyoza skin. You're right. Okay. Maybe for a soup? Um, well, boiled, for perhaps, soup? yeah, but uh, not necessarily. It's going to be transparent, so you'll be able to see the prawn mm, and okay. other things inside oh, of it. Yeah, okay. so that, okay. that's the whole idea. Mm. So he's going to steam it, I think. Okay, liver-flavored crab meat to be wrapped up and some fancy gyoza on the way from the Iron Chef. And now the mm. challenger side think there's caviar in there, right? Oh, that's a nice match with okay. the saltiness. Okay, and another sizable taste test. Caviar in Fukusan? there? Yes. <laughs> the challenger's bowl does contain caviar and onions, which were soaked in water. It's onions, okay. okay. And caviar mixed in, and now adding some some crab meat and with the chopsticks really working that one into a frenzy there. Mm -hmm. Iron Chef though, he is locked on his wow. gyoza. Oh, wow. oh, that's pretty. I believe he's making a flower of that <laughs> yeah, one. He's doing the petals right now. You know, normally you don't see him doing something this um, delicate and also mm. time consuming. We haven't seen a technique like this for a while. No. Especially from the Iron Chef Chinese. <laughs> exactly. Chen, a real study and concentration right there. Yeah. Wow, very pretty. Look at that. Oh, oh my, nice. yes. Fukuzan? Yes. I've been informed that the ingredients Chen San has combined to stuff these gyoza with are boiled crab meat and crab liver flavored with ginger that was stewed in vinegar and soy sauce. Okay, now I can tell you why he's using ginger. Go ahead. It's uh, crab meat that tends to take heat away from the body, actually. Okay. So in Chinese cuisine, a lot of places, as you know, serve tea with ginger, right. and that's supposedly to warm up oh. the body. Uh, and ginger has okay. some sort of a, a thermal effect on the human body, or well, so they say. Getting to the very essence of Chinese food, eating right, all the elements in harmony at the same time. Right, exactly. Okay. Yeah. And now here, Ikegawa's mix, it's almost like a cocktail, marinated and uh, 
Caviar and crab meat, most likely his opening dish. I imagine so, yeah. That's what All right. Croissant? Yes. What the challenger is pouring into this dish is a blend of broth, citrus juice, soy sauce, sweet cooking sake, sugar, and ginger juice. Mm, quite a mix there. Okay, and did you catch that? He's added ginger as well. Good pickup, right. bringing back the heat, right? Right, yeah. And so far, Wak Matsusan, I'd have to say the challenger is doing pretty well in this one. Several different dishes in addition to the stew pot. You know, he's got more than just stew in his arsenal. Oh, right, yeah. right. I have to take my words back. He's quite a chef, I must say. Um, not just a master of sumo style sue for st for tourists. He's better yeah. than that. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean. Yeah, he's he's young and he still has curiosity right? to try many new things. Right, right, I right. can say he's got the caliber to be a legitimate challenger. Well, that's why right, he's yeah. here. And now, what okay, do we have? Okay, that's the beaten eggs. That's gonna just kind of tie the ingredients okay, together. Okay, and I yeah. can also make out some mushrooms and yeah, crab meat. Crab meat, right? Okay, yeah. crab meat is in there too. So it's gonna be like a crab meat egg foo young. I egg guess. foo young being made by the former foo yo ho, <laughs> <laughs> former. Rikishi, sumo wrestler Fuyoho, and another taste test. He likes those. And just a few beads of perspiration in sumo wrestlers. They usually sweat a lot, right? Yeah, I'd say so. He retired quite some time ago, but he's back to normal, I Okay, guess. normal weight, normal <laughs> sweat. <laughs> yes. The Challenger's Egg Foo Young style dish, which we just watched him make, uh, contains dried shiitake mushrooms, burdock, and of course, crab meat. All right, thanks. And uh, what about the stewed one now? Oh, Is that no, visible no, at present? Not yet. <laughs> no. Okay. I'm guessing this one. This Which one? one here. Huh? This one? The pot in the front? Yeah, yeah. Near pot there? That'll be the sumo wrestler stew, you think? Uh, well, that's, it's nothing fancy. If you have great broth, just dump the other things in there and it sounds <laughs> good. <laughs> now, Chen, more work on this. Yeah, he's trying to make it look like a real flower, isn't he? I wonder and what could he be adding some there. crab eggs there? Oh, that oh, could be. Maybe. Not Kusan? sure. Yes. The red garnish on the gyoza is bits of red bell pepper. Oh, bell pepper. All right. Oh. Now a better look at it. Okay. Uh -huh. oh, you know, today's ingredient is kind of wild looking, but the dishes are, are very sensitive. They're, they're small, delicate, I would almost say. Yes, yeah. there is a contrast mm. with that. Good observation, Takata-san. And now uh, we are closing in on the final 15 minutes of cooking time in this battle. Fukuzan? Uh, the Iron Chef's got mayonnaise yeah, on. Go ahead, Ota. Yeah? yeah, I've got the ingredients that went into the mayo sauce, mayonnaise, grated wasabi radish, and lemon juice. Mayonnaise, okay, okay going yeah, with the mayo. Wasabi, yeah. And wow. lemon juice, mm -hmm. laying that on. So wasabi and mayonnaise. That's an interesting mm. mix, isn't it? Not too difficult to make that one at home. Right? Kusan! <laughs> yes. I don't know how it happened, but the challenger just got some potentially disastrous news, and I think this is going to be a real shock. His rice cooker was never turned on. Oh, my goodness. Uh -oh. oh, no. And now I'm told that one of his assistants just plain forgot about it. Ikegawa's rice cooker, cook button left unpushed. Oh, boy, you still wanted that crab rice, though, right? Yes, yes. Fatal mistake over there. Is there any way out for him? Well, maybe 15 minutes is just enough. Ooh, it's going to be tight. Kusan? Yes. Yeah, they've now turned it on and set it on a high speed setting to make up for lost time, and they say that they just might make it under the wire. High speed? Ooh. We don't have that at home. Uh, You've well, never heard of that? Modern technology, wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> but how do you do that? Hey, I don't cook the rice. <laughs> All right, Chen, now check this Kusan? out. Okay. Yes. Yeah, one more thing. The glaze uh, the Iron Chef is now coating this item with is a mix of honey and keika John paste okay. that we saw before that was simmering for some time, and this is how it turned out. Okay, and once wow. again, the sauce has a sweet and sour flavor. Right, it's uh, it's slightly sweet and with a really nice smell. So a yes. bit more on the sweet side. Yeah, but it's also got a little bit of tang to it, too, a little little spiciness. It's going to be a nice combination. All right, and into the oven. They've gone with that. Right, yeah. Now the challenger here and... Okay, these are the ones topped by Yuba. Oh, I see. Looks okay, like a yeah. soup. Yeah, yeah. yeah right, uh, right. Not with a thick, thick sauce over it. Right, though. right, right. Uh, yeah. Okay, so sort of a sweet and sour sauce mm, on yeah. this side as exactly. well. Exactly, yeah. All right, so he's not making the chanko stew with that. Doesn't look like it, no. Oh, but we, we want that. Yeah. Right, Esther? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right now, oh, Chen. deep frying here. Walk full of hot That's oil. With the shells, right? Hot under the collar. <laughs> Fukusan? Yes. The challenger's had his problems, but Chen San's having trouble too with the Chawan Mushi, which may not have time to harden. All right, Chen in trouble too. Both sides of the kitchen messing up and having to overcome not only their opponents, but also their own mistakes. All right, Chen in trouble too. Both sides of the kitchen messing up and having to overcome not only their opponents, but also their own mistakes. Right, look at the dumplings here. Oh. Challenger's making dumplings, right? Yes, okay, yes. and these look like they're going to be for a soup. I think so, yep. 
So, Master, we have to give up the sumo stew? We've got to give it up. Oh, yeah. no. So he threw you a curveball on that one, oh. I guess. Oh, it? completely fooled me. <laughs> well, that's how the smaller guys beat you big guys. <laughs> okay, now look at the Iron Chef here. This is the the uh, transparent gyoza. Okay, mm. checking those out. Okay, now he's going to steam these. This technique, is using rice flour, getting the transparent effect, it's strictly a Cantonese type of a style. Okay, yeah. and now the Iron Chef stir uh -huh. fry. Oh. Whoa! Flamola, big time, bringing the heat. Yeah, oh. look at that. Oh, he's adding it to that. Uh huh. Whoa. Man oh. alive. <laughs> Flammable action. <laughs> Flame fired walk there <laughs> from Chen. Now, this would be a bit hot and spicy, almost like chili prawns in their own way, but obviously a little different in flavor. And, and some ginkgo nuts in there. All right, ginkgo nuts in there. Yes, another walk in progress by Chen. Fukuzan? Yes. The flaming ingredients in Chen Sao's walk are shiitake mushrooms, kawaii arrowhead bulbs, chopped bell pepper, scallions, ginger, garlic, and crab meat still in the shells, coated with cornstarch. Back to you. Well. All right, thanks, big fella. Walk fired up, and now five minutes left coming down the stretch. Crunch time, but the two chefs, neither one showing any signs of scurrying about. Oh, some gold foil, I guess. Both yeah. look like they're on the pace they want, and the challenger adding this gold foil to his horsehair crab dumpling. Wow. Still waiting for some soup to fill up those bowls. Now the Iron Chef side his chawan mushi and crab shells. He was worried about it. Seems okay, and now out comes the stir fry. Oh, oh, oh that smells so good. And yes. again, the chawan mushi looks to be okay. Looks like it has firmed up. Yeah, yeah I'm just excited to be here. This is <laughs> <laughs> kind of feels that way, doesn't it? It's great. Yeah, yeah I'm ready to start tasting right now. <laughs> oh, it's this one with some steamed rice, oh, that would be so good. Okay, now look at the challenger's dish with the daikon radish. It's translucent. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. And even more elaborate now, the soup offering becoming and a little knotted twist laid on there. Yeah, yeah. He sure is a good chef. I'm, I'm really impressed. A top, top chef. Yeah. You know, there's no telling how far he could go in his new career. That's true. He's, he's got skills, this man, and he seems to have a lot of room to grow as All well. He's right, still young. Now, so. Here's the one by Chen Grilled, which got the coating of kekajan and honey, and there's his stir fry and uh, the chawan mushi, and again, this one looks great right here. Yeah, that was the one just out of the oven. Love to have a bite of that yeah. one after it's all over today, yes. <laughs> I asked the challenger why he's not making his traditional sumo wrestler chunko style stew, and he said because it simply can't be done with crab meat, that's why. Oh, wow. Okay. All right, well, wak matsu-san, just like you said, generally don't make use of crab in the chunko right, stew pot. Right, right. It's not just the cost of the ingredients they use, right? Right, it's uh, difficult to use in that way. Okay, so in the end, not making a stew today, instead a bevy of other dishes, and also an illustration of his caliber, and now we gotta wonder about the rice, though. Right, yeah. You Any know, word I on that over there? I think he'll make it. Okay. Let's see there. I'll open up the lid, take a peek, and clamp that back down again. Don't know about that. Yeah, no, you have to keep it in the cooker and keep it closed for a while. If you want the best results. Okay, right, we right. got a buck and some change left on the clock. <laughs> now look at Chen here. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, wow. it's, pretty, it's almost like a crystal piece, isn't it? It's Perfect on that plate. Yeah. Kind of shaped like an iris, don't you think? Yeah, well, I'm not quite sure what well, that shape is called. Well, let's just say a Japanese iris, a translucent one in bloom. Oh, that's wow. pretty. Marvelous job by the Iron yeah. Chef on that wow. one there. And now a minute to go, the final 60 seconds. And challenge side can't wait any longer, taking the rice out right there. Yeah, now did he take the shells out after this? Can't or? tell about that. He yeah. says he will make it on time. All right, challenge Rike Gawa, a real scare put into him over there. Rice cooker, a big error, not turned on until about 15 go. minutes remaining in the battle, but apparently able to get it done thanks to the high speed mode. And whoa, I, I thought he was putting the rice back in. No, but it's crab meat they've added okay. there. And so they're mixing that getting it done just in the nick of time. Thank Iron Chef Chen having, having a little go. mishap of his own with the chow and mushi, but he too able Ten to overcome that. To 10 seconds left, Challenger Ikigawa's crab rice coming off and Five into the serving seconds. bowl. A great finish Three, for him. The final two, seconds ticking one. down and that's it. The cooking's done. The horsehair crab battle is over. So how'd you do? Well, I was short like I thought. Short, Very of course. Fast. Uh -huh. Yeah. Now, you did have a mishap, a scare with the rice cooker towards the end, but you seemed to get through that unscathed, right? Yeah. right? So, including that one, how did your dishes come together for you? Mm, well, uh, I've never really used this ingredient before, so uh -huh. I think I did pretty well considering that. Yeah? Yeah. Well, how was it? Horsehair crab. Uh -huh. I, I pretended they were normal crabs. Oh, okay. I've had this crab myself, so uh -huh. I know what it's like, but uh, cooking has a different story. Uh, you know. yeah. Any thoughts on today's challenger? Oh, he's a gentle looking guy, but he, yeah. he's got tough stuff inside. Oh, okay. I always analyze my opponents like this. <laughs> <laughs> really? I didn't know that. Okay, Thank thanks. Nice job. Challenger Ikegawa is offering six dishes. 
First, crab and radish salad. It's served in a bowl made of the citrus fruit yuzu, a combination of crab meat and daikon radish in a dish with a presentation expressing the fall season. Second, crab meatball soup. It has a piece of citrus peeling carved out in the shape of a ginkgo leaf. The dumpling, visible under a sheet of radish, is soft and when tasted, spreads around gently in the mouth. Third, marinated crab and caviar. A combo of vinegar and ginger juice is the marinade. The saltiness of caviar and the sweetness of onions successfully draw out the natural flavor of crab meat. Fourth, grilled crab omelet. The challenger made a fluffy omelet in broth, then grilled it to get a charred surface. A great vehicle for enjoying the full-bodied flavor of the crab meat. Fifth is steamed crab in yuba. The earthy flavor of crab liver and the aroma of ginger achieve a wonderful harmony and are both an excellent match with the yuba bean curd sheets. Last is crab rice, which he managed to bring in at the very end. Unshelled pieces of crab were cooked together with the rice, maximizing the flavor of the theme ingredient in this presentation. Iron Chef Chen is offering five dishes. First, crab salad, which is served in a hollowed out lemon. The flavor is a bit on the Japanese side. The use of lettuce creates an interesting accent to the texture of the caviar topped opener. Second, flower petal crab meat gyoza, an offering which demonstrates both Chen's dexterity and experience. The gyoza skins made from rice flour are translucent, encapsulating a filling containing crab meat and liver. The dip, accentuated by ginger juice, is spot on for the gyoza pieces containing crab. Third is crab chawanmushi, served in the shell of a horsehair crab. No other ingredients are in it, but the crab flavor in the mousse is condensed, as well as being enhanced by virtue of it being housed inside the shell itself. Fourth dish in the lineup, braised crab with honey glaze, with an exotic flavor being created by the coating of a combination of honey and keikajan, a paste containing a Chinese sweet liqueur. And last is hot and spicy crab stir-fry, an appealing delight using tochi bean paste, a dynamic, bold closer for a course in which the earlier dishes were made with Chen using more finesse than he usually does. In the world of sumo wrestling, Fuyoho made it to the middle rank before a knee injury cut short his career at age 25. Moving on to career number two and applying the same passion he brought to the ring, he's risen to the top ranks of his new profession. Today's challenger, Kiyotaka Ikegawa. He's here in Kitchen Stadium to crash into and push out Iron Chef Chinese Chen Kenichi. Chairman Kaga unveils the theme with an admonition to watch out for the prickly locks of horsehair crabs. And challenger Ikigawa shows he's more than just a chef for wrestlers with a wide-ranging set of six dishes. Iron Chef Chen mixing and matching fashions a fabulous set of five. And now the moment of truth, tasting and judgment. On the panel today for the horsehair crab battle are film director Nagisa Oshima, sumo stable master Wakamatsu, actress Mayuko Takata, and from Hong Kong, Gourmet Chua Lam. First, the dishes of challenger Ikegawa. I think I remember his face from when he was still active. <laughs> he didn't make it in the sumo world, but in this field of cooking, I think he's going to make it big. That's what I can see in his dishes, I'm sure. Well, uh, this is too s subtle for me, I think. Um, I wish you gave me more um, crab meat and less radish in this. That would have been better. There's just too much daikon radish and not enough crab meat in this. I was watching your moves and I saw the white daikon radish belted with the red item uh, carrot. Yes. I was impressed, a nice touch. And I'm enjoying the flavor just as I imagined it when I first saw it. This is marvelous. Dumpling and daikon radish. Yes. I like the difference of textures between the two. And about the gold foil, I like the modesty of hiding it under the slice of radish. <laughs> this reflects <laughs> his personality, I think. I agree with you about uh, hiding the gold foil underneath. Um, 
if you had the gold on top, it would have been uh, tacky. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and now Ikegawa serving his crab omelet. The flavor could be a bit too strong because everything else is powerful. The subtle crab meat is overwhelmed, even by the broth, I think. And I also thought that serving the rice with this would have been a great choice. You could have had the crab on top. The crab meat, I mean. Another layer, yeah. Yeah, some extra. You, mm. you needed that extra crab meat to counter the strong flavor of the other elements allowing the crab to speak up. But crabs are expensive. <laughs> <laughs> so we are yeah, usually I satisfied right. by the aroma alone. Basically, I like eating crab like this with eggs and soy flavor. <laughs> this I can see you made it just for the sake of having to create something. The yuba is not effective, nor can I say the crab is in this dish. If I could be selfish here, I wish I had a simpler version, a crab meat flavored with crab liver. Then I could appreciate this crab in a more straightforward manner. The crab meat itself is uh, too subtle and doesn't uh, appeal to me very much when, uh, you know, used uh, like this. Like my friend said, this type of crab is quite subtle in flavor, and cooking this might have been very, very tough today. But you combined it with other ingredients and showed us the crab bit by bit in different dishes. I really believe you did a splendid job today. And now up the dishes of Iron Chef Chen. The crab's texture is nice. And the contrast between lettuce and crab meat. To add body, you use mayonnaise and wasabi. And caviar for saltiness, I see all the elements you added very clearly. Rather than adding mayonnaise, you know, you could have used um, wasabi and soy sauce uh, alone, I was uh, thinking. You could have given us one more of these. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. But one thing, maybe because of the shape of the petals, the skin of the gyoza could have been too large. The flavor of the skin is more powerful than that of what's inside, I think. So, Not too many chefs do it like this in Chinese cooking these days. I mean in everyday Chinese cooking. This is a... Uh, very pretty. Ordinary chefs don't have the skill to do this anymore, especially in a limited uh, time frame uh, like that. At last, I'm feeling the attack of the crabs. <laughs> <laughs> this has crab liver in it. Yes, it does. This is very gentle and mild. Oh, that's right. It's just a simple mix of broth, eggs, and crab meat. Uh, I think that blending the crab meat draws out the, the sweetness, uh, you see? Oh. During the battle, I think you said the, this crab was not so great quality-wise. So did you solve that problem by putting it in the blender to reinforce the flavor? With that and the broth I took from the shells. Ah, the shells, I see. So those little techniques, I think, uh, makes this dish uh, something you can recreate at home. <laughs> Visually, this is a bit grotesque. Oh. <laughs> This sauce is normally used for roast pork. Um, I commend you for your courage making a dish like this. Um, well, you didn't like the looks of um, this, but it doesn't uh, bother me. This one is uh, more bothering. <laughs> <laughs> and now Chen dishing out his closer, the hot and spicy stir-fry. <laughs> the joy of eating crabs is reaching into the parts that are difficult to get to, you see. Apart from that, when I entertain foreigners at Japanese restaurants, I always have difficulty in explaining to them what the main dish is. We don't understand which is the last dish of the day, but you go to other parts of the world, uh, every country has the concept of a main dish, which of course is the strongest statement. And this last dish is just that, and that's what makes him the Iron Chef. Truly.
Push now coming to shove the verdict. We'll see which chef remains on his feet. Today, the stadium, the arena for a former sumo wrestler turned chef trying to deny the Iron Chef his 10th straight win. Challenger Ikegawa, his mitts locked on around his opponent's midsection. Iron Chef Chen showing versatility with ability, enough to escape. Who takes it? Whose cuisine reigns supreme? It's the Iron Chef Chen out muscling Ikegawa and winning his 10th in a row. Bouncing back the former sumo grappler. A hairy affair indeed for the Iron Chef with this theme, but able to drive out his opponent and remain standing. All right, the score is Oshima 17 13 Iron Chef, Wakamatsu 20 17 Iron Chef, Takata 20 19 Iron Chef, Chua Lam 18 13 Iron Chef, Sweep City, and clawing his way to victory today, Iron Chef Chinese Chen Kenichi. Yeah.